hey guys welcome back to another video my name is Rashina and of course you don't see price here today I'm just by myself but welcome back to kingdom life TV you I know you're used to seeing us together and that's okay everything is fine it's cool um, but I have decided that I would love to do some midweek videos by myself we normally would post on Fridays but now you guys are going to be getting some midweek videos from from me or maybe but maybe price alone um, the main reason for this video today is because I wanted to talk more about faith fear and just walking through the Christian life so if you're interested in that just keep watching as I was saying before we're gonna talk about a little bit about faith and fear and just you know living life daily and how can I talk about faith and fear if I don't have a little story time all right so recently um, on my mind has been recently my mind has heavily been on business and my mind has heavily been on success and been on actualizing you know and just being i think everybody has a little bit of wanting to be great and have an idea in their heads that they're struggling with so um i have a, a decor business which um some of you may or may not know it's called discipline decor you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram um, yeah so I've had this idea for a while um, I, spe I especially love working with balloons doing balloon columns balloon garlands and you know that sort of stuff but I really do love the event business not necessarily planning the events but I like designing the events and making it look really good and making it look luxury and all of that so with that said you know everybody always have big dreams big plans big visions big 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 all kind of big ideas and big thoughts and sometimes they get so excited when they when they think about the thoughts and the plans and everything but the issue tends to come when it's time to execute it when it's time to put it into practice when it's time for it to manifest um that can be so so difficult and that's what has been happening with me i i have been struggling in that area and i just wanted to pause a little bit today to talk about it because i feel like if i am going through it then other persons must be going through it as well so if you are if you do have a small business let me know what your small business is in the comment section and it may be sort of small business but maybe something else that you're struggling with you're having fear about you can talk about it you can um write it down below so my my particular fear is am i gonna do well at it i don't know the future I don't know the unknown um, I don't know that much about business I mean I did business in high school just a little bit and in college I did psychology and I didn't do anything in business but every time I try to just leave business out of it I try to just say you know what I'm not going to do this it keeps coming back it keeps coming up or persons still keep asking me to um, design your event whether it's a baby shower or a gender reveal or people keep asking me about it and I recognize that it's also a passion that I have and it just won't go away but with the passion it's like fear is just is this automatically attached to to it so today I am I'm sitting down and I'm thinking and I'm deciding to attack that fear with faith trust me it has not been easy I've had to be talking to myself about it 
I've spoken to Price about it. And I've spoken to a few other persons in my direct circle about it. And they've said to me, no man, you just, just keep at it, keep pushing on just one step at a time, one step at a time. So I want to bring to you a very simple scripture. This, this scripture is what you learn in Sunday school, Sabbath school, or even if you don't go to church at all, um, maybe at school or somewhere you've heard it. The scripture says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. You hear how easily I can quote, you hear how easily I can just quote it. It just rolls off of my tongue. But when it's time to really trust God, when it's time to really just um, apply this principle, because this is a kingdom principle, you know, this is a kingdom principle. Trust him in everything. Acknowledge him in everything. Ask him and he will guide you. I learned recently that um, when you walk in fear, it simply means you don't trust God. When I heard it, I was, I stopped for a while because I was like, no, but I, no, but I trust God. <laughs> I trust him. I trust the Lord. I do. I trust the Lord. And I recognize that after saying I trust the Lord, after three times, I was just trying to convince myself that I really do trust God. And I do have trust for God. I have a level of trust for God. But I think the, the real proof that I trust God is when I trust him in everything. When I put all my fears aside and I trust him like the scripture says. And sometimes because we we know God as a savior, we know Jesus Christ as a savior, we know him as healer or helper, we don't think that he can help us in other aspects. So I never really see Jesus never owned um, a computer industry. He wasn't in the event business. The most I know right now that I can think of the top of my head is that he was in carpentry. And, you know, he was doing a bunch of stuff. But sometimes we doubt what God knows. We doubt his wealth of knowledge. And the scripture again says, um, in all thy ways acknowledge him. The scripture says, don't lean on your own understanding. Because the scripture says that you see in part. You see in part. You know in part. You don't know everything. You're not you're not God. You're not all knowing by yourself. So you can't do it by yourself. But if you should just take God's words for it, if you just take the creator's word for it, if you really just trust him, the things that we worry about, the things that I worry about, I'm talking about myself, the things I worry about, the things I fear, they won't, they won't overtake me because I'm not now putting my trust in my own self. I'm putting my trust in an all-sufficient God. I'm putting my trust in an all-sufficient God. So, today, you and I, we are going to work out this, this issue that we're having with fear. And we're going to put a little trust in. We're gonna have some more faith. We're going to we're going to work at it. If we call ourselves Christian, if we if we tell ourselves that we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and if we really trust that He is a good, good Father, and that He is faithful, and that He is good, and that He's our help, that He's our waymaker, come on, let our life show that. So, so today, as I'm, I'm not staying long, I'm, I'm not staying long, um, I just want to tell you, and I'm telling myself, put a little faith on it. I know the battle is hard, and I know that it can be rough and tough, but put a little faith 
in it today believe really trust in god all right so um thank you guys for watching thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to like comment subscribe and let's 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 have a conversation in the comment section because i know i can't be the only one struggling with this thing so again my name is rashina for those who don't know you're watching kingdom live tv please comment please subscribe take care until next time god bless you